This is Chandra Davis here with your five-minute word of encouragement. <laughs> Amen. Today is Wednesday. So it's the what they call it, the hump day, the day in the middle of the week. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Uh, just wanted to get on here really quickly um, to encourage you what I felt like God, how God was saying to encourage you today. Amen. And so um, today I just want to uh, share with you um, about trouble does not last. Amen. Listen, Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning light. Amen. That's Psalms 30 and 5. It's so important that we understand that trouble don't last always. Don't die in your troubling season. Don't die in your hard season. Keep going forward. Listen, be fully persuaded that God said that weeping may endure for a night, but joy will come in the morning light. Be fully persuaded that what God said he will do, he will do. Your joy will come. Amen. Listen, he said, if we remain in a vine, he said that He said that uh, our fruit will remain. Amen. If we keep our mind stayed on him, he will keep us in perfect peace. I want to encourage you to fix your mind, your heart, and your soul. Uh, fix them on Jesus. Your eyes, fix your eyes, set them on Jesus. He is the author, perfecter, and finisher of your faith. If you focus on it, if you focus on him, he will keep you through these hard seasons. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy will indeed come in the morning. To everything, there's a time and there's a season. Every season will end, including your hard season. You can do this. You can make it. Amen. You can make it through because trouble don't last always. Amen. I just got on here really quickly just to encourage you. When we are weak, he is strong. You are strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Amen. It's not by might nor by power, but by his spirit spirit says the lord of hosts amen he will be your strength when you're weak just want to encourage you today that trouble won't last always when we are weak he will indeed be strong amen listen how do you get through hard seasons how do you keep enduring how do you keep do you want stamina do you want to make it do you want endurance it all starts with jesus amen it starts with making him your lord and your savior you have to believe in your heart that he died on the cross for your sins that's how you make him your savior and then you have to confess him as lord lord is giving him rulership over your life that means you surrender your will for his will we would have a lot less stress in our life if we just surrendered our life over to him he said if you want me he said the qualifications of the coming of disciple is luke 9 and 23 if you want me deny yourself pick up your cross daily and follow after me if we would deny ourselves the things that we want the places that we want to go the achievements of different things if we would do as paul said and count them as dung put them behind us and press forward toward the mark of the high call of christ jesus that means we set our mind we set our heart we set our eyes on jesus then we would be able to endure these hard seasons the same way paul did he said listen i learned to live a base i learned to live a bow i found the secret to contentment in life I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. And so, so can you. Trouble don't last always. We have to accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. That's what it starts with. Maybe you've already done that. And maybe you've gotten off track. Maybe you've taken your life back. You've made some wrong choices. God said he's married to the backslider. He said that if you confess your sins, he's faithful and just to forgive you. And not only forgive you, but cleanse you of all unrighteousness. We would love to walk with you. We would love to do that with you. You literally can do it right now. We serve a living God. He will meet you right where you're at. We can't be where you're at, but he can be right where you're at because he's a living God. We serve a living God. He sees, he hears, he moves. Amen. If you step toward him, he will step towards you. We would love to walk with you. I'm Chandra Davis. My husband's Anthony Davis. We're senior leaders at Kingdom Awakening Church. We meet every Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and we pray every Tuesday at 6 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Zoom and in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. We would love to connect with us. You know, we would love to walk with you like us here. Davis Tips for Daily Living. Uh, we, we will be launching our life coaching, Davis Tips 365. We would love to walk with you, show you how to endure through troubled seasons. Amen. Show you how to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Just got on here really quickly just to encourage you to let you know that trouble don't last always. Share this video with somebody. If you know somebody in troubled times, the Bible says right now we are in perilous times. Amen. People, uh, uh, the love of many are waxing cold because of all the things that are going on. But I want to encourage you that weeping may endure for a night, but joy will come in the morning. Trouble don't last always. If you know anybody in trouble, share this video with them. Encourage them. Listen, everybody. Make have a great day on purpose. And remember that trouble don't last always.